220,000 Americans dead. If you hear nothing else I say tonight, hear this. Anyone who's responsible for not taking control, in fact, not saying I'm, I take no responsibility initially, anyone who's responsible for that many deaths should not remain as President of the United States of America. I will take care of this. I will end this. I will make sure we have a plan. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are back on the street today doing street interviews. It's been a long time, so I'm excited to get back out here. We're at the Tandra Outlets here at Daytona Beach. Now, for those of you who remember, last year Joe Biden promised that he would end this virus. He said he had a plan. And as a matter of fact, I'll put those exact words here. I will take care of this. I will end this. I will make sure we have a plan. So what I want to know is do people think Joe Biden has lived up to his words. Did he end this virus or did he make things worse? You know my answer, but let's find out what people think here in Daytona Beach. All right, so we got uh, Statue of Liberty holding a gun. I love it. So Joe Biden had promised during the campaign trail that he would shut down COVID. How do you think he's done so far? Just adding on to it, more variants. Making things worse, right? Yeah. Have you had COVID yet? Not that I'm aware of. Not that you're aware of? Did you get the, uh, I'm, I'm gonna guess the answer, but did you get the jab? No. Or do you plan on getting it? No. What would it take at this point for you to consider putting that into your body? Uh, nothing. That's I don't it. Even, I don't even get a flu shot. Good for you, man. So you're a fellow pure blood. Yeah. Nice <laughs> to meet you, man. I will take care of this. I will end this. I will make sure we have a plan. So Joe Biden promised last year that he would end COVID. He said he had a plan. How do you think his plan's going so far? I mean, look, bro, he's dumb as fuck. COVID's still spiking up. It's crazy, right? Yeah, it's crazy. Now, have you been vaccinated yet? I have. I was in the military. I had to get vaccinated. Yeah, you had no choice. I had no choice. How did I you... did have a choice, but they were sending us to Iraq, so I decided to get it. How do you feel about that, the pressure tactics they're using? Do you think it's a good thing or a bad thing? Uh, for the community, good, but, like, personally, as a, you know, career and whatnot, it's bad because, you know, a lot of people are getting out. I hear that. Well said. Thank you for the service, brother. I appreciate it. Thank I appreciate you. it. You look good with my dog. Thank you. I will take care of this. I will end this. I will make sure we have a plan. First of all, I got to say, I love your Joe Biden shirt. That's beautiful. So Joe Biden last year promised he would end this pandemic. How do you think he's done so far? Horrible. Horrible, yeah, right? Absolutely horrible. Do you think that we would be in better shape under Trump if we had him for four more years right now? Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Did you know that more people died this year from COVID than last year under Trump when we didn't even have vaccines? Did you know that? I believe that. It's crazy, right? Yeah. Uh, I have a lot of theories on that, but I have... we'll have to share those offline. Yeah, I will take care of this. I will end this. I will make sure we have a plan. So last year, Joe Biden promised he had a plan to shut down COVID. Mm -hmm. And I believe he won the election because of that promise. Mm -hmm. How do you think he's done so far? Shitty. That's yeah, true. he doesn't know what he's doing. First of all, he can't even speak a full sentence. Second of all, and he used the teleprompter. Yep. So he can't even read off the teleprompter. It's crazy. Right. It's not even illiteracy. Him. <laughs> Literacy. It's not even him controlling us. It's the government controlling him to do whatever the fuck they want to do. Right. He's like a little puppet. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, another question. Have you ladies been vaccinated or are you guys nope, pure bloods? I'm not getting vaccinated. I have not been vaccinated. You have not been? No. Nope. You're pure bloods. Yes. What would it take for you guys to get vaccinated? Nothing. What would have to happen? Uh, um, probably Nothing. evidence that, that it's even helping because a lot of people have already been vaccinated and we have a second. Uh, well, this is the third wave of the coronavirus coming out and the second strand that's been uprised. So mm. a lot of people are being hospitalized again because of it. So It's crazy, right? Yeah. I'm a, I'm a two-time survivor. Two-time survivor? So, yeah. so am I. Two and times? You look, and nice. you look healthy. I, I try to be, you know, I try. <laughs> what did you say? I cut you off. Um, I, I had it two times. Two times? Literally, it didn't even do anything to me. I, it was right. like a cold. It well, that's because you guys are young. And it doesn't really affect young people as much, right. you know? Well, thank you. Are you guys on the Trump train? Yes, I am. 2024 Trump? <laughs> oh, God bless you. God bless you. You guys want to shout out your Instagrams? Get some followers? TikToks? Faith, Faith McNally. Faith underscore McNally. Kaylee Rose underscore 21. Awesome. Nice to meet you, ladies. You too. I will take care of this. I will end this. I will make sure we have a plan. So last year during the campaign trail, Joe Biden promised he would end COVID. How do you feel he's done so far this year? Very poorly, actually. I don't think uh, I don't think it's over yet. Uh, I don't think. Uh, yeah, I'm a nurse, so I'm a scientist, and I the science is the thing. But I just uh, rhetoric doesn't do it. It has to be actual um, getting out there and and really doing it. Right. Uh, funding needs to come. Hmm. Uh, 
Since you're a medical professional, what are your thoughts on natural immunity? Because it seems that our government doesn't want to research natural immunity. It seems they only want to look at vaccines as the way out. Do you think that we should be looking more into natural immunity? Yeah, but I, I don't think that's possible because I think we as, as, a, as evolving humans in this country have damaged ourselves. I mean, mm. I think we just, I don't think there's going to, I don't think there's much hope for natural immunity. Is it because of our diet, our lifestyle, yes, places like that? Yes, exactly. So I, We've done it to ourselves. Right, so people really have to put an effort in to be healthy these days, right? Exercising exactly. and everything, so... But you're right, if you, society, our food is unhealthy, it's processed, you know. Well, thank you for your opinion. Are you on the Trump train for 2024? Are you hoping Trump comes back? Uh, I may not even be alive, and I'm 80 years old, and I don't know. Um, Let's think positively. You're going to be here 2024. Uh, Do you want well, Trump? I definitely will not support Biden. Let's put it that way. Okay, God bless you. Thank you so much. I will take care of this. I will end this. I will make sure we have a plan. All right. So Joe Biden last year promised he would end the pandemic. Mm -hmm. How do you think he's done so far? Um, I think it's still happening, even though I'm not wearing a mask. But, you know, here in Florida, we don't believe in it. <laughs> yeah, we don't have the mask in Florida. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Ohio, really. So you, li you live here now? Is it for the freedoms that you're down here? No, no, no. For you the warm already. weather. For the warm weather? Yeah. Nice. Let's yeah. go, Brandon. Oh, someone saw... That's a, that's a... Let's go, Brandon, in the wild. Let's go, Brandon. You like my hat, huh? Love it. Thank you. God bless. Do you know what Let's Go Brandon means? Yeah, I do now. You do now? I did know before, but... Are you on the Trump train for 2024? No, I'm not. You're not. Who do you think would be the best candidate to run next election? If you could pick anyone in the world. Maybe like Big Bird. Big Bird? <laughs> yeah. Probably better than, yeah, definitely better than Biden. <laughs> Thank you know. so much. It's definitely an animal. Maybe a dog. <laughs> Dogs would be the best. Yes. Hey, Clyde, you want to be president of the U.S.? Yeah. What a good girl. Yeah. At least they'd be loyal and full of love, right? That's right. I will take care of this. I will end this. I will make sure we have a plan. Joe Biden promised he would end this pandemic. How do you think he's done so far? Very bad. Very bad. Yeah. And, uh... Are you on the Trump train? Yes, I am. God bless you. I got to ask you one question though. What's your yes. ethnic background? I'm Hispanic. What kind? I'm from El Salvador. Do you get a lot of like feedback because you're a Trump supporter as an El Salvadorian? I usually don't really talk about it because it's, <laughs> you know, it's my feelings and right. I don't care what anyone else thinks. Good for you. I respect yeah. that. I'm a Mexican for Trump too. Yeah. So there you go. Nice to meet you. You too. Bye. I will take care of this. I will end this. I will make sure we have a plan. All right. So Joe Biden last year promised he would end the pandemic. How do you think he's done so far? I mean, I haven't really, like, got into his work and what he has done, so mm. I'm not sure. So you're staying out of it as much as you can. Good for you. And did you choose to get the vaccine? I did not. You did not? No. How do you feel about vaccine mandates? Should people be forced into getting it? No, I mean, this is free country. You do what you want, and I feel like it should be your choice. So if you want to get it and you think it'd be beneficial then that's you i love those words i will take care of this i will end this i will make sure we have a plan i will take care of this i will end this i will make sure we have a plan mm -hmm.